Carl and Kay Vallotton and detailing. Uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, the UK has been uh, battered by the beast of the East. I'm uh, just filming this now. First of March, start of a new vlog on the way back from the shop. Supplies, you know, crisps, beer, the things you really need. I will uh, I'll see you back up at the Octavia VRS wagon to show you what's actually here. Uh, KVD followers, it's the 2nd of March. Um, unfortunately, it is another snow day. Um, temperatures are, well, horrible. Uh, a wind chill of minus nine, which is also uh, horrible. But positive, we've uh, managed to rebook everything for next week. It's going to be a busy one. Uh, the weather's set to improve, temperatures are set to improve. Uh, I'd just like to say a quick thanks to all our customers for understanding it's virtually impossible to clean cars in this weather. Although as much as we'd like to try. But today we're just, I'm just out in the VRS, uh, been to get some fuel, uh, we've been to select uniforms, uh, to grab our uniforms, uh, updated with the PVD logo. So yeah, hopefully we'll be back on the road tomorrow, uh, plenty of cars to do, plenty of bookings to take care of, plenty of customers to impress. We hope you've uh, enjoyed the snow, if that's possible. Yeah, leave it with us folks, we'll be back on the road showing you more cars and we hope you're going to enjoy uh, March's vlog as much as we are going to enjoy making it. All the best and we will see you soon. So we're now back at KVD HQ. I believe the sun is trying to come out a little bit there. The snow is beginning to clear. But it is uh, still absolutely freezing out there. Um, still not safe to be working with any kind of vehicles. But as soon as we are back at HQ, I'll show you that actually, by the way. Cat's toys, look. We started to update all our um, boxes and things. So we've got wa waxes in there. Um, nothing in that one at the minute. Brushes, pet hair removal tools. Um, these are fantastic for interiors, as are the medical swabs and, of course, cocktail sticks are needed. We've still got this one to fill. Um, there's just some spare cloths in there and some products we've recently purchased. Uh, Gion Cure Matte, uh, matte Paint Sealant and Maintaining Spray. And a fantastic, we've already tested this. Uh, matte reactivating shampoo from uh, Nanolex there so we've got a few other bits to sort out before they go in the, the wagon I'm, uh, I'm hoping they'll fit because they, they are quite tall and then we've just been up to select uniforms as I said before for our new updated uniforms so we're now moving over to black rather than uh, grey uh, with the PVD logo now in place, which needs washing, I think that. I think it looked very smart, and KVD Cat is uh, in joint packaging. Yeah, in joint packaging. Full of beans, is that one? And thank you to Select Uniforms as well for travel mug. That will keep us uh, nice and warm on these cold days.
Good morning folks and welcome to another week at KVD. Uh, it is the 5th of March. Uh, we've just finished the job in Eldwick on the uh, BMW X1. Uh, we're now heading down to Brig House to attend two vehicles at uh, Quickslide. Uh, a bit of contract work. Well, it's just nice to see all this snow finally moving off. The beast from the east uh, wasn't great for us valeters last week. Um, valeters and detailers, it, it was a complete write off. But we're still in high spirits, we are still positive, and this week uh, is absolutely flat out. I'm going to try and capture as much footage as possible for the vlog. Uh, bear with us on social media we'll try and keep that updated as well as as we always do but yeah uh, plenty of cars coming up this week a very very nice Passat R36 in for two days as well for uh, enhancement detail and ceramic coating so that's going to be receiving g Technique XO V3 uh, a lot to do a lot to catch up on and we can't wait to get moving and carry on how we've been Carrying on, if that makes sense. I'm trying to concentrate because I'm driving. Completely forgot what I was going to say. Good morning, folks. We are down at Air Valley Coatings today. Uh, first car done uh, Audi A4 Avant. Treat to our bronze package service. Let's have an interior valet as well. Uh, the gazebo is up, removable wrap around, locked into place, and also locked into place up here as well. No wind today, so we've not had to tie it down. We have got the tyres with us, uh, just in case. Looking mint, and if you need any wheels doing, Air Valley Coatings are the ones to see. The gazebo has been an absolute godsend. The only thing we have struggled with is getting 4 4s underneath uh, with the low bars. So, what we've done is some fence posts, some rubber blocks, gives us about another 4 or 5 inch lift. So we can get them under with room to spare. Genius! Back at KVD HQ after our uh, morning into the afternoon down at Air Valley Coatings. Uh, we've just given the Octavia VRS wagon a bath. So all the wheels have been cleaned first with arches as well. They've been degreased, brushed, and uh, rinsed out. Uh, we're now doing the two bucket method. Uh, we often get people asking why we do the two bucket method. So we're just going to give you a quick insight basically. We've got the two Maguire's buckets, um, several wash mitts in there just in case, and a, and a little brush just to go around any gaps and crevices we've missed. This is going to be quite hard doing this with one hand, but we often get people asking, so I thought I'd show. So you get your wash mitt. We've just done the windscreen and the roof. You dip that in your rinse bucket. And then we've got clean, fresh shampoo solution. So I'll just do half the bonnet. And headlights into the front grills and the number plate at the front and just down into I tend to just get down into there with a the wash mitt as well although it's already been brushed so not overly dirty because uh, shampoo um, snow foam solution has got to do most of it back into your shampoo and then another two panels or panel and a half And when you are washing, only go where you tend to just go 
to the swage line there and the lower house will be done with uh, an older wash mitt just to stop cross contamination. Carl at KVD Reflex Silver uh, Passat R36 in for two days work receiving a single stage enhancement and G Technique EXO version 3 uh, the glass will be coated in G5 so it's going to go through our full safe wash and decom procedure before taking it inside ready for polishing uh, I'll just take you show you Winter road salt has been taking its toll. Um, so it's going to be a lengthy wash and decon stage before taking it inside, ready to be blown dry and taped up, uh, ready for a full paint inspection. But yeah, I've never, I've never really, well, I've never seen a wagon, and I've never seen one in silver. I think they look uh, very, very smart. And we can't wait to get started on this one. We're all set up and ready to rock and roll. I'll keep you posted throughout the day. So with the tar removal stage done, uh, full two bucket method safe wash, uh, it's time for iron fallout. Uh, basically this is rail dust, uh, industrial fallout and from, as you can see, brake discs there are bleeding away. That uh, metal particles get hot and in turn are flicked up onto the vehicle's paintwork and from other vehicles as well that are on the road. So what we do now is we bleed all this out of the paintwork. Big one there running down from the handle uh, onto the lowers. So we've removed all the tar first. Quite a lot on this. I'm going to leave it another couple of minutes. Uh, it could potentially be a second hit on this one. Uh, once the fallout removal stage is done, it's time for. Oh, the back looks quite bad. Still all that there. Once fallout removal stage is done, it's time for a clay bar. So, progress update on the R36 Passat uh, Reflex Silver Paintwork. We're just um, taping up at the moment. So we've got the lights out, uh, there's a few swirl marks, uh, nothing major to report if I'm being brutally honest with you. The paint's in fantastic condition, it's maintained by the owner um, to quite a high standard. Uh, we, I'm not going to say too much or show too much because we are going to be making a full uh, documented video on this and it will also be part of the vlog. Um, but yeah, looking at the paint, it's 
it's, it's in nice condition. Uh, there was quite a lot of tar to remove and a lot of fallout. But we're just taping up some delicate areas like the chromes at the minute. Um, the arch lips that we don't want to be banging against. Obviously, uh, exhausts are going to need a, a deep cleanse and a polish. Um, so we're just setting up machines. We've got the lights on. So the two spotlights and we've got one round the other side to put in. Uh, we're going to be doing a test spot with Sonax 0406. Um, four cut, six gloss. Should prepare the paint. Lovely, ready for EXO coating tomorrow. We're going to be running it on the Vertil random orbital polisher and the Rupes Bigfoot Mini so we've got 5 inch, 3 inch and obviously we're going to need it on this for the sills uh, not the sills, the arch lips we've also got the Shine Mate rotary as well um, so yeah, well prepared as always I will keep you updated through the day or I will do my best, this is a big car to get round. Let's crack on. So this is after a single stage, uh, which is what the car is booked for. Uh, again, there's not many marks in this paint to take out, if I'm to, to be really honest with you. But it is bringing out a lovely flake in this reflex silver. Look at that. Such a such a nice colour, and obviously with the X on top, it will look brilliant. So we've had the three inch top of the door, three inch below the swage line. We've got to three inch above the chrome strip. Uh, all this down here will get the three inch. That will get the shine, mate. Um, three inch round the edges, and onto the wing as well. Looking nice. Shiny, shiny leather, dirty leather. So with the use of Dr. Leather wipes and some Auto Bright Leather Cleanse, this is going to be like new. So after 10 minutes, nice matte finish. Feels lovely. And bang, there it's gone.
morning folks, it's Carl at Cave Allerton and Detailing. We are in Wakefield this morning. Um, Audi A6 complete. It's now time for the Jag. Good afternoon everybody. We have been, oh we're just, just this second leaving uh, Wakefield now for our contract cars. Audi A6, Jaguar X-Type. Porsche Cayenne S finished in mahogany metallic and a Porsche Cayenne finished in metallic black all treated to bronze package maintenance details all looking absolutely superb um, and all booked again for April oh, you'll be watching this now as April Great day all in all, I'm going to flash up some walk around videos of the finished cars now, um, enjoy! Carl at Cave Allen and the Detailing. Bit of a late start today uh, due to catching up, or trying to catch up on some sleep. Uh, failing miserably as always up at half seven. Gold package this morning. 
BMW 640i in for a full day's work. Looking forward to getting started on this one. Uh, this one will be a bit of a feature on the vlog as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that at the end of March. Um, but we're all set up. We're ready to crack on. Headphones ready to go. Let's get moving. So just a quick update then. Uh, BMW 640d. We've just spent around 20 minutes uh, cleaning the wheels. Uh, this groove here, uh, absolutely caked in fallout. So they've had a full deep clean, uh, iron fallout removal, and then a tire removal as well. Looking much better. Uh, reason being, we clean the wheels first. If we clean those and get them out of the way, uh, the body is then free from any contaminants from the wheels onto the body work, which we don't want. So the minute they're clean, we're now on the snow foam stages. So we've done the tire removal stage, um, as you've seen on the previous picture. This is now iron fallout, uh, basically getting rid of all bonded metal particles that are bonded into the surface. So we'll bleed them out before clay bar session. It's quite heavy, is this one. Um, shows up very well on white.